Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Watch Dogs 2. Unfortunately, last episode got cut off mid-episode because the game crashed again to desktop. Super annoying. Fortunately, the recording was uh, survived, but it's already the second time. I've um, googled around a bit and more people uh, have the issue. One person suggested to enable the page file also on the SSD. I haven't done it yet. I will see if um, the crashes continue. If so, then I will try it. But for now, we'll just uh, try my luck. But it is um, for sure annoying. It doesn't happen that often, but it's already the second time that the game simply freezes and crashes to desktop. Anyways, we have to find a trophy blue. This insurance company who is scamming people employee. We have to hack their phone. By the way, the reason why I'm not um, enabling the page file already is because I prefer to keep it like... Um, Um, yeah, default only uh, on the system partition. I have it enabled. I think uh, Windows does that automatically. And enabling it on my D gaming partition, I'm not really sure. Yeah, just for one game that is playing up is. Um, yeah. Not op optimal. But if it crashes one more time, I will do it. To me, I think I have like if sufficient RAM. There shouldn't be any need for a page file. I have like 16 gigabyte of uh, 4000 megahertz RAM. So that should be sufficient. Um, so that's also a reason why I'm doubting that it's the page file. But maybe the game engine is built in such a way that um, that it really u needs to be able to utilize the page file. True. But to me, it, it seems like a page file is a last resort. It's like utilizing a hard drive, hard disk drive, or an SSD, as a replacement for uh, RAM uh, when the RAM uh, bottoms out. But so that's that's only, I would think, as a layman, needed if you have like a low amount of RAM, because using a hard drive for memory purposes is of course super inefficient a hard drive is not by any stretch of the animation as quick uh, in retrieving and uh, storing data as, as RAM modules are so I prefer actually that the game simply uses my RAM instead of messing about with a page file uh, solution sorry for the rent that was this information screen Car commercial. A brew back. Oh shit, I forgot the timer. One second. Let's put the timer and then we will go and grab or hack that profi blue employee if the game doesn't crash beforehand. Visits local sex clubs. Abby Goodwin. $185,000 annual salary. Where the hell? We are at Profi Blue, so where the hell do we need to go? Ah, we need to go to the other side of the street, actually. Like, to the left and to the right. What 
what's the other Profi Blue building then? This is the bank. I thought it was an insurance company. Let's check it out. Hmm. Apparently that's also a bank. Two branches close to each other. somebody we can hack the allegations were substantiated Jim you've been snooping in the employees private stuff oh come on that's only quasi private we hold the IT team to a high standard I mean you got Tina's private number and started calling her that's not okay it was a harmless flirtation come on Bob let me just sorry Jim the decision's been taken. Your access card has been cancelled, as well as your Proby Blue password and gym privileges. HR will send you your personal items from your desk. Fuck! Hey man, what's up? Not much. What's new with you? Oh, Sitara, you, you in the doghouse. See you around. That Proby yeah. Blue guy Ooh, got shit canned brother. today. His password's no good. Whoops. My bad. Ha! <laughs> Sitara's selling day old fish. I'm relying on you out here, girl. I need up-to-date shit. I said sorry. Sheesh. Okay, here. I've got another probably employee. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You really, really sure? Oh, fuck you, Marcus. Just go get the damn password. Holy shit. Armored trucks circulate freely around the Bay Area, carrying large amounts of cash. Open the truck's doors by hacking or destroying them. Pick up the package in the trunk and disable the tracking device to retrieve the money. Until the tracking device is deactivated, the police will track you down. You will earn followers upon escape. Yeah, I was indeed checking out. Reach. Come on, dudes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. What's happening? We're taking the shipment. Checking the shipment. Space to control. Be on alert. Oops. Possible targets near location. We're taking the shipment. Yeah. Damn it. My bad. Alright, where's the new employee at? U turn and then at the end of the street to the left. Tidy bananas. Cleaning services. Why would you market yourself as a banana in the cleaning service business? It is funny, I have to admit that. So that's probably the goal. Cool car. Cool pickup. Crossover between a sedan and a pickup. Anyways, where is our new employee? Ah, over there. I think it's her. Alright, we got a password. Now what? Alright, got the password. You marked Proper Blue on my map? Sure did. You sure? You, you sure you got it right? It, it might have changed. God damn it, Marcus. 
<laughs> he ain't gonna let this one go. Right. Across the street. And there are a lot of profi blue buildings over here. Now what? What to do? Is this true? Jesus! What did I do? I pressed a button while trying to open that door, but I think I hacked her phone or something. Because I was also close by her. Anyways, nice building, but... Alright, we need to enter it somehow. Don't really see a lot of options over here. And cannot really open the oh. door. William Finn. The Wild Pitor Cats, Summer Sneaker Sale, Street Flex Clothing, Stash, New Stores in San Francisco, Silicon Valley and Outlands, S Stash and Vine. Alright, you tell me how the hell do I get into the bank. They really did a pretty good job on the headlights and the tail lights in this game. They really... Uh, these look a bit worse, but these look really like reflectors and it's really pretty well done. Almost all games in existence put that on their lowest priority, like realistic lights on uh, cars while super important for an immersive realistic experience or for adding realism and as such being more immersive all right i see a lot of security guards so you tell me what to do i don't even know what the plan is over here They are all looking the other side. So, I do have a plan, I think. First, let's see what we have to do. Hack into the ProfiBlue server. ProfiBlue users can risk close to jack up the rates. Sometimes risks don't pay off. Ah, this dude is walking all the way over here. But I do have a plan. But I think the plan might need to involve the jumper. Like so. And then like what was that? So that? Hey, hey you damn it. Asshole. Let's spread out. Oh I'm such an idiot. Now they are on alert. Oh <sighs> not really sure whether I find this fun. It is, of course, totally my own mistake, but oh my the idea was to distract the dude and climb the ladder. But that really didn't work out like it should. Maybe and be a bit quick. Yes, nice. Hey, slip. Come on, let's regroup at HQ. All right, you regroup at HQ. Um, 
You tell me where to go. Can probably climb over there. There's something over there. They are not watching in this direction. Yes, very nice. What do we have? We have some explosive tanks. And um oh shit. Come on, dude. Nice. Hopefully his buddies won't come up. they will see him and I don't think I can carry people all right what's the plan actually not really sure what that is like a generator or some kind of air circulation pump or whatever over there so ah, electric there. object large oh, transformer oh, box hack to trigger non-lethal shock and cause localized blackouts all right we can create a blackout what the hell is this Physical hack, building security router provide access to the internal network. Ah, nice. Hack to upload malware. This guy has it all, am I right? Yeah, passed out drunk really says, I'm king of the world. Rumor, future, what is he watching? You got access? How Analyzing the, the data now. You do sure I... you're doing it right? Is okay. it the latest data? Oh, ha ha. That I was funny the first time, Marcus. Now it's just douchey. Oh, wow. Basically, they're monitoring every single purchase. Buy some fast food or a beer or chips, and they immediately bump your rates. Well, that's their risk clause for you. You risk getting ripped off. Better tweak their algorithm, I say. Already on it. Now, anytime someone does those things, their rates go down. I want to fuck with the CEO and CFO directly. Looks like they use a limo service. You can track their cars. I've marked the place. All right. Down the street. Get the limos, GPS routes, all the bullshit perf loose pulling comes directly from their CFO and CEO. They need to pay. All right, that's all fun and games, but how the hell? Why can't I track it anymore? How the hell get I do I get out of here? My plan is to use the blackout if that's possible. Yes, it really isn't that that black 
We're dead dark. Right? Am I right? You're under Everybody! Alert! We have an intruder! What the hell? They were way too aggressive again. See you later, brothers. Are they following? Yeah, looks like it. Not really. Yeah, one is. Ah, now they lost me. Nice. Check the area. All right, let's get to the limo service. I must say. Nine one one, please state your emergency. Tell the cops to hurry. That Marcus can jump pretty high Track from bit to pretty high up. Are coming. If you compare that to Suspects what? right there. Holy shit! They have like super eagle vision. Here, the the security guards, they are really like crazy sensitive. Hopefully he will get into a fight with the police. Spread out. Ah, he lost me. But there was like this other game I'm playing. I'm thinking which game it was. I have to wait for him to uh, get lost. Ah, shit, he's coming over here. His question mark is gone. But I'm really like, cannot really think w what game it was. It was, uh, it's a game that like, Which game playthroughs am I playing currently? Keep it together. Grand Turismo. God damn it, my memory is really bad. I'm still doing Lara Croft, doing Gran Turismo, doing Metro Exodus, doing The Witcher. Oh, which game was it? It was a game where you could also increase the height of which the character could jump down off. And I actually didn't enable it because I found the tension pretty... Uh, Accelerating, but anyways, that main character really like went full critical injured from like a jump of like three feet, while Marcus casually jumps down from the first or the second uh, floor to ground level. Anyways, that dude doesn't really look like he is moving. more like wait I can of course on my mobile find my channel and then see what playthroughs I'm doing sorry it's a bit boring nobody's watching anyways probably but that main character really like got so often killed by falling down like super yeah it is kingdom come deliverance that's the henry from kingdom come deliverance he really breaks his um his bones everywhere he goes even if he 
looks like from this little pavement to the to the to the street level like what's this 10 inches or if oh shit my cover is, is driving away holy shit ah but he's not anymore in alert mode i guess anyways then henry would break his uh, his legs or his ankle or at least bruise it that's a bit too much it it does make you navigate the world very cautiously so it does add some sense of immersion but marcus does not have any of those problems with his parkouring and uh, what he can do that's probably also just taken ubisoft probably took all those moves probably took those uh, they took those moves from the um, Assassin's Creed series they probably have the, all that code of parkouring they already have that uh, ready available of course from the Assassin's Creed series anyways where is the GPS thingy to the right somewhere There's a big lock symbol. Probably we need to go here. But that's easier said than done. Why is that alarm going? It's all easier said than done, but here comes the jumper. Me. Hello, hello. Jumper is jumping. Good work, jumper. Very nice, jumper. There are probably the GPS route routes. Now what? Installing malware. Got the GPS data on both the CFO and CEO. CFO first. Right. Give me my vehicle. Oh, we have more new ones, I guess. Oh, that are 30 new paint jobs. Damn it. All right, I stick with the boring ass Mitsubishi or whatever it's supposed to resemble. Where is it? Ah, finally it's close by. And let's see where we need to go. All right, out of there and to the right. Totally unimmersive, that line on the roads. But for now, it beats opening up the map each at each intersection to be able to see where I have to go. What 
what am I retrieving data from? Am I in front? Ah, I'm Where the hell? this shit. Got no time for this. God damn it. <laughs> How to fail a mission. Oh, pressing the wrong button. <laughs> oh, now he's suddenly totally somewhere else. At least those lines are a goner. That's better. Still. All right, he's going to the left. Still is. Sorry. See, this line you have now is like way more subtle. <laughs> then the big yellow stripe on the road. I saw him. We're getting closer. Whoa. Whoa. 